Good evening, all of you. Today I'll be demonstrating how to analyze India's COVID-19 data. I had downloaded this from the official website. I'll now I'm loading the necessary library files, library packages, and now I have stored the CSV file in my computer and loading that to raw underscore data. It has got one six eight five zero observations or rows and nine variables. You can see here. Okay. So it tells the date on which it started and then state or even directory. <coughs> Sorry. Confirmed in the national, confirmed for national, keyword, deaths, and confirmed. Okay. So I'm just doing the basic to the data frame structure column names and summary okay seeing the summary you can see whether NAs are there or confirmed has got a negative value so there's nothing so we can go with this row underscore data so to find any NAs in the columns you can use this command there's no NAs so just to see what are the names of the states or unit trees uh, 42 one is having cases being reassigned to states and then Bihar with four stars, maybe some something they would have meant in that. Now I'll show you the first grouping. So I'm going to group this total cases and maximum on a single day by state. How you're going to do? You're going to give the this data frame, raw underscore data. <coughs> Sorry, and then group by I'm using the group by command. And then I'm going to sum of the confirm in the summarize. There are some functions that sum, mean, max, min, all these things of the confirmed and maximum of the confirmed. And then I'm going to arrange it in the descending of the sum of the cases. Okay. So maximum is Maharashtra and single day, this is the maximum. So if you want to check what is there in the uh, what in the row with the names Bihar four star? This is a command. Row data row underscore data is our data frame in that row underscore data dollar. This is a column name where it is equal to Bihar with four star. Okay. Now I am going to plot it. Okay, I am going to plot it. So this is the command. I'm going to group it by states or even directories and then I'm going to find the mean of the confirmed case of that state and then I'm going to plot it using the ggplot. I'm going to give the x axis at the state dot even directory and y equal to the confirmed mean after grouping. Okay, and this fill and all are for legends. And here another one important is this one dodge. So the labels of the state will come in steps for avoid in the overlap okay so this is the command for that we'll just see that just taking some time so big data so this is you can you just zoom it and see what is there in that Okay, so this is the states in X axis and the mean of the confirmed cases and there's a legend you can see Maharashtra has got the maximum mean and then another one is Kerala and this may be Bihar. Okay, okay, we had to check it properly, which is a exact color. <laughs> So this is how you plot it just to show you this is how you plot it okay and now I'm going to group by date and then using the summarize command I'm going to find the mean of the each each day okay mean of the date okay. this is how you're going to supply the data this is a raw underscore data and group by date as a column name and then you're going to find the mean of the confirm. So let us see that. So you 
it has been stored in ex1 this is the head of the ex1 date and then mean now i'm going to plot it there's a command from here ggplot same x axis is the date y is the mean of the mean underscore day just before we found and group equal to one because one value in each group and then for the getting the scatter row type we are putting geom underscore line and then overlap I, I am avoiding just we, let us see what is that so this is the okay average cases we are plotting and after ex1 it will have the this is the ex1 just you now we found date and mean day so ex1 if you type dollar you will get the uh, column names in that so next one is just like the mean we i did for the sum you can just then not, not much change okay instead of mean i did sum here that's all same will come so I, i'm skipping that this is a multiple group grouping so here group by unitary and date and then summarize the confirmed cases i mean a mean of the confirmed cases and then write it in the descending order okay same now you want to filter i'm showing you how to use a filter okay same you are supplying the data filter date after first april so this is the command date greater than or equal to use the as dot date and then the date you want so this tells you after first april 2021 group it group by state and then find the sum okay this is the sum okay and the man and then total case okay So I had given mean underscore cases and the command is sum. Yes, you can just change here sum. sum okay. okay. Then suppose you want to find between between first April 2020 and between first April 2021. This is a command. We'll use the filter and this one greater than this date and less than this date. So that will give you between you can see some of the cases and then you it is stored in ex3 you can plot that ex3 okay ex3 i'm giving es3 x as a state and y equal to some underscore cases and then i can just plot this same this is the graph sum of cases between april 2020 and april 2021 these are the states and between okay this is how we plot it this may come maharashtra okay here yeah. to maharashtra manipur meghalaya misora manipur meghalaya misora okay this is how you plot it okay and then another command i want to tell you is that from this date plus three months this is a command for that okay after 2020 first april three more months so this is a command for so this, this is based on ex4 you can just plot that ex4 and see now i'll just tell tell about the correlation so i'm going this head Raw data seven, seven, eight, nine columns will be shown with this command. Okay, so seven, eight, nine up. Queried, deaths, and confirmed. And it, all rows and columns seven, eight, nine. So I am going to find the correlation between seven, eight, nine columns. This is the command. So the positively correlated, very much positively correlated. Point nine one between deaths and queried. Okay. 
So I am going to make a model, linear model, Dutch versus confirmed. Okay, this is confirmed and Dutch. Uh, I am going to sum find the summary. You can see here, eighty four point zero two percentage of data is explained by this model, and VMS static is significant and p value is also less but let us try adding keyword also to this see it is 84.06 little better okay so using this model i'm going to predict the depth and it is, it is stored in p and the summary the box plot parameters will be shown and now i'm going to add a new column to the our row underscore data and then add this p and let us see that okay so i have added that let us see how it has come so here our model tells minus 403 deaths okay when it was zero death just predicting minus 403 and last you can see when then suppose here death death is actual death is 7338 but we predicted 4825 using this model so it is less some places it is more also here it is actually the 8942 but the predicted is 14,000 something so this is how you use a linear regression model so for the analysis on this i'll tell later so i'll just conclude by this conclude so what i did now i loaded the data and then i found whether any na as the not applicable na is there it was not there then i group by states and then i found the sum in the summarize there are a lot of functions are there just like sum max min median so many functions you can just get the help and see and then i arranged it in the descending order and then i plotted this the colorful graph for the Open by state and the mean of the confirmed. Now you can change the mean here to sum. Here you can change the sum and then you can check it yourself. Only this is the come from here till here is the command for that. Okay, there's the command. Then I showed you how to group it by date. And then I change the to line plot, and this is for avoiding the overlap in the names of them. And then this same, and then I showed you how to use the two groups, and then filter command to even on the dates you can use the filter command, and then you can plot that what you get. If you get ex3, you can plot the ex3 in the ggplot and then see. And then I did a linear regression model and predicted. Thank you. If you got any doubt, please comment. I will reply to that. Thank you.